Do you or someone you know have pain in your joints or stiffness when doing daily activities? These symptoms may be related to a common condition called osteoarthritis or OA, and it affects over 32.5 million adults in the U.S. Brad talked with physical therapist Dr. Sherry Betts on how physical therapy can help treat and manage the symptoms of OA. Good morning, doctor. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks. Okay. Let's talk about what OA is and what are some of the common signs and symptoms of this, of course, arthritis. Osteoarthritis is a condition that results in degrading of the cartilage between two bones. And what we mean by that is just a wear and tear phenomenon where the cartilage gets thinned out. And that's just that cushion that you lose between the bones. It often affects the hips, the knees, the hands, and the feet. And we know that about 32.5 million Americans are suffering with osteoarthritis. And they often experience things like knee pain in the morning, especially when they get up, the knee is very stiff, but they find it hard to move around at first. And then they experience creaking or cracking and crepitus in the joint. The good news is that physical therapy can help with all of those symptoms if they're having trouble with those daily activities. Doctor, you just explained each morning how I wake up. Uh, oh, <laughs> the no. knees are crickly and everything, and then my hips a little bit too. So let's talk about, of course, as you said, physical therapy can help. So let's break down some of the myths that people have regarding OA and what they say they can't do with it. Yes, I love to talk about that. The Low impact activities are normally what people start with. And if you're really in a lot of pain, you can start with water therapy and get that support around your joint. And then eventually progressing to land therapy where you're getting on a cycle, bicycle. Some people manage their pain with a bicycle. And then you can also begin brisk walking. And I'm talking brisk walking, not slow walking. And get back to doing some sports activities if you're doing that. And then you definitely don't want to avoid strength training. Strength training is one of the most important things that is going to provide nutrients, support, shock absorption around that arthritic joint. And so strength training is something you really want to make sure you're taking part in. So, Doctor, they must have made sure we were together on this uh, and making sure I was interviewing you because literally I just started back to doing strength training because I thought, you know, oh, that's going to hurt. But I like how you said about actually getting there and moving and not using it as a crutch to not get out and move. So the best thing is to move with it. Um, the other part I think is very important, as you say, is therapy with it. So therapists, of course, are very important in making people be able to move much better. Absolutely. We'll often provide a comprehensive physical assessment and try to figure out those factors that are making the knee pain worse. So we might even advise you on how you're weight bearing on your foot. We might look at your knee alignment while you're doing squats and lunges and working out at the gym. And we might even provide uh, instruction in shoe selection that might be useful for decreasing some of that pain in your hip and knee. Yeah, so funny, I just went and got brand new shoes, doctor. There, listen, you're talking to the person right here that needs all this. So this is also very important. I'm not big on uh, taking the injections or, or kind of like the pain um, cover up. So that's where, of course, uh, physical therapy comes in to help so we don't have to do that. So what are some of the things that, again, you guys do to make sure people aren't switching to just the cover up of what's going on? Yeah, there's actually a new report that's been published by the American Physical Therapy Association that compared steroid injections to physical therapy and found that physical therapy was actually more effective and lower cost. And then what we also want to consider with steroid injections is the reduction in the quality and the, the strength of tissues around the joint where the injection occurs. And that leads to weakening of the tendons and overuse can also lead to loss of bone density. And we know how popular osteoporosis is. Yeah. Doctor, before I leave you, I want you to give me one quick tip on what I can do each morning uh, to make sure that uh, I'm not going to be creaking and crunching all day long. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say go for a walk, but I'm going to give you this other tip because that's a pretty obvious one. Stand on one leg every day. I that's it. Do I love heel it. raises. 
Yeah, do some heel raises to strengthen that calf, but basically making sure you can stand on one leg every day is one of the best things you can do to support your knee and hip. Well, I'm gonna go do that, but right now, please tell everybody where they can find more information about what we talked about. You can go to choosept.com. You can enter any pathology or condition that you're experiencing and find a plethora of information about your condition and what you can do about it. Perfect. Doctor, thank you very much. Again, they must, they must have liked said, Brad, this is for you. So I'm going to start doing that. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Good luck on your rehab. Thanks.